Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the Bundesliga career mode. This is the 26th episode of the series. And we start today's episode with some player training here and also look at our youth monthly report as well. Christian Ruck and Yannick Strobel look like really decent youngsters in our academy and I'm sure both of those will be getting promoted and not before long as we also release one of those youngsters as well. We also have a squad report today and also look at the league table as well. And in today's episode I've got a question for you guys to start this episode off and that is what type of commentary do you prefer from me in my episodes? Like Live commentary or post commentary. Now, in the last episode, of course, there were four games, all of which were commentated in the post commentary style. For this episode, you'll see two games against Arsenal and Bayer Leverkusen, and they're both done as a live commentary. So, I want to know from you guys today what do you prefer, live commentary or post commentary? Because if you want, I'll do more post commentaries or more live commentaries. It just depends on what you guys would prefer. Otherwise, I'll leave it as it is and just keep on doing a mix of both live and post. Just do live games for the big ones and a post commentary for the normal ones. But anyway, let me know in the comment section now. Down below as I want to try and better my content always and uh, make it even better for you and if you prefer the live commentaries much more to the post commentaries and I'll start doing them on a more regular basis. Uh, still following that as you can see a score report right there you can see how the players currently getting on. Still a little bit disappointed with the lack of growth for certain players we've signed but for the most part a lot of them doing quite well and also look at the league table as well 11 games in we are one point behind the leaders Bayern Munich right now and as I said in the last episode I do believe we are probably going to be their main threat to the title this year at least I certainly hope that's going to be the case because Borussia Dortmund are struggling right now we are so far the only team that look as though they can keep pace with them and I think it may be on us this season to try and pip them to the crown and try and win the Bundesliga title it'll be very difficult we know that for sure but right now we look as though the only team that is going to give them a proper threat this season to win the title but for the first game on today's episode here, we will take on Arsenal in the Champions League group stages this is match day four and of course in match day one we were beaten by Arsenal away at the Emirates Stadium so coming into this game we're desperate for revenge desperate to get a win and of course we don't don't win, Benfica will probably beat Red Bull Salzburg and overtake us and move into second place with two games to go. So a draw in this game wouldn't be bad, but we're targeting a win. We want to get back to back after beating Herder Berlin in the last game in the Bundesliga. So it's a massive game tonight, taking on Arsenal here at the Vox Park Stadion. Let's get a huge three points and keep hold of second place in the Champions League group stage. Corner to the Gunners, first real chance could come here and Santi Cazorla will take it, swings it into the centre and Valente de Wilde punch it away there for a crowd of bodies, Cazorla gets it back, now we hear Walker play a 1-2 and now Walker into Cazorla, Cazorla goes for goal, Valente denies him at the near post, it was one of those moments where if I overcommitted, there would have been a man free for him to cut it back to, so Valente had to be on his guard at the near post, did well, good save and then for the follow up corner, punches the ball clear, so well done Valente and we'll get the ball away. Ramsey into Cazorla. Cazorla goes for goal, blocked by Clever. And now a chance on a break here as Talisa receives the ball down the right hand side. He's not the quickest, and neither stand there. They've got enough pace, and he'll play it inside towards Correa here. Not in the game yet, Angel Correa. Holds the ball up, waiting for a runner. Luan's gone the wrong way, which is fantastic. So he keeps holding the ball still. Plays it inside to the skipper, Lewis Holtby. Holtby back to Taliso. Simple passes here. Taliso back inside to Holtby. Holtby receives the ball, goes for goal. Oh, he scored! He scored a goal, and Lewis Holtby has given us the lead 20 minutes in. I'm stunned. I'm absolutely stunned because Holtby has scored. And how on earth did Pedacek not say that? He played the ball inside to Stendera. Uh, Toliso, sorry. Toliso gave it back to him. And he let fly. And Pedacek is an experienced and very good goalkeeper. And he's just... I don't know how he's let that go in. Did that take a deflection off Koscielny? Oh, it did. It did take a deflection off Koscielny. That's why it went in. Holtby strike takes the deflection off. Laurent Koscielny. We don't mind, though. The skipper gives us the lead. And that's why Petr Cech is beaten. If you remember in the game of the Emirates, he was beaten by Timo Werner strike, which I was a little bit critical of Cech, and I was wrong to do that, because it's actually a really good strike by Werner. But for that goal, I was stunned. I got the shot on target, which is good, but it seemed like a tame effort. But in the end, the reason it went in is because Cech was deceived by the deflection from Lauren Koscielny. And we lead tonight in a massive game at the Volks Park Stadion. We'll, we'll take him. It's, it's not how I want to score goals, but we'll take them. A lucky deflection gives us the lead. Thank you, game. And it's Luan down the left-hand side, trying to cut past his man here. And he'll get back towards Sakai, and he'll go for goal from range. Why not? And this shot just over the bar and behind for a goal kick. So a good start to this game, and we lead by the goal to nil. 
Sakai through to the goal scorer Lewis Holtby who I'm so pleased for him to get the goal as well because he was of course the one that gave the ball away against Arsenal at the Emirates for Giroud's second goal which proved to be the winner of course it was me playing the pass but either way Sane down the right side cutting past his man getting inside the area still Leroy Sane gives it to Sendera on the edge of the area drags the shot just wide the post and in this first half I must admit Arsenal have had the possession but I feel we've been the stronger side on the offensive end so it's still 1-0 and chance for us to get a second I feel so final chance to half for Arsenal to get back on level terms Santi Gazzola with this corner, swings it towards the edge of the area, Ramsey chests it down, goes for goal, shots blocked, second shot behind the knee, goes wide of the post, and that will do it for the first half. So we are going to take a lead going into the break here at the Vox Park Stadion. Lewis Holtby's deflected shot gave us the opening goal, and I must admit, I think we played a little bit better in that first half. Arsenal dominated possession, as you would expect, but that man getting the opening goal of the game, making it 1-0, and as things stand, no matter what Benfica do, we'll still be in second second place with two group stage games to go. First 45 minutes done, hopefully we'll keep it up in the second half. David Luiz with a free kick for Arsenal. Can they finally get a chance here? Out comes Valente and Valente got nowhere near it and Olivier Giroud headed it wide. That's been their really only chance of this half and Olivier Giroud had a free header and he put it wide. Cesar Valente is relieved. I'm relieved. And I've said this about Valente before. Usually he is so safe when claiming crosses. But every now and then he comes for one. He gets nowhere near it. And fortunately for this one, Giroud can't take advantage. I give the ball away stupidly. And Ramsey goes down left-hand side. Cross the wing to the centre. And this time Valente does make up for it with a simple claim. So still 1-0 to Hamburg. And it looks as though the game is going to finish with this scoreline. What an awful, awful second half from Arsenal. As Luan gets on the ball, cross fields towards Muller. We could make it two here. It's Nikolai Muller. I want someone to run and give it to him. And instead Muller's going to go all the way and possibly score. David Luiz on the block. And Correa gets it clear to Giroud. But there is the final whistle anyway. It is all over here at the Vox Park Stadion. Hamburg 1, Arsenal 0. We claim a massive win in the Champions League group stages. I'm delighted with that. But for Arsene Wenger, he must be giving his players a rollicking in that dressing room because they did nothing in the second half. Absolutely nothing. They trailed by a goal to nil through Lewis Holby opening the scoring in the first half through the deflected shot. But for Arsenal, I mean, seriously, I was expecting in the second half to be under constant pressure, a bombardment of crosses and long balls forward and just general intricate play, uh, play on the edge of the area, trying to work their way inside and get shots. But instead, they seem to just keep the ball around the halfway line and just not want to surrender possession. What an awful second half from the Gunners. But we claim a priceless three points. And as you can see, they may have had a lot more possession than us. That's true. They had three more shots as well, but both had two on target. It was still a poor game by Arsenal standards, we come away with a massive three points. Uh, man the match, probably wouldn't go to Valente, I'd probably give it to Lewis Holtby in the middle of the park for not just getting the goal, but playing very well, didn't misplace a pass, won the back a couple of times as well, so Holtby my man the match, played well, and I can't believe this, I, I really can't believe how poor Arsenal were, we've claimed a big win though, and as things stand, we're still not out of the a chance of finishing top of the group, what a great result, get in, well done Hamburg. And after that very good win over an underwhelming Arsenal side, you can see by the table we've held on to our second place position despite Benfica's impressive big victory over Red Bull Salzburg. As there's only two games left in the group stage, it's still anyone's guess for who will finish where in the two top qualifying spots. Going into the game, Arsenal could have all but guaranteed finishing top of the group come the end of six games, but instead they now find themselves only two and three points clear of Hamburg and Benfica as anyone still has a chance of qualifying. It was a great win, but we can't celebrate too much because now we move into our second game of today's episode here back in the Bundesliga as we travel to the Bayer Arena to take on a very good Bayer Leverkusen side. They're in fourth place right now and six points behind us in second and although ordinarily I'd take a point in this type of game, as we're only one point behind the league leaders Bayern Munich in the table, I'm targeting all three points and making it three straight wins in a row. So come on Hamburg, let's follow up that big win over Arsenal with another big one here and show Bayern Munich we're not going away and we're a genuine threat to their title this season. Hilbert through towards top rack. First chance could come here as Ostanali receives the ball down the right hand side. Skips past Lewis Holtby, gets inside the area. Holtby with the tackle. And now a chance on the break here as Correa finds Holtby. Holtby back to Correa. And Correa back through towards Lewis Holtby. Down the left hand side. Holtby the match winner against Arsenal. Sprints down this near side. And still Lewis Holtby on the ball. Cutting inside. And still Lewis Holtby. And still Lewis Holtby drags across towards Correa, who's put it wide. Who has put it wide. Now have all the players on the pitch. That chance goes to the one we'd want it to go to, Angel Correa, who completely scuffed the shot and fired it wide. And for a guy who's had a red-hot start to the season and is in really good form, 
Well, it's safe to say I'm very surprised that he's failed to even hit the target there. What a miss by Correa. And he's got to do better than that. We should be 1-0 up. It's Kramer over the top towards Hilbert. Here he chests it down. He's around Masuaku and goes for goal. And fires the ball just over the bar. He took the shot on very early there, number 13. I think Masuaku is quicker than him, but... Either way, took the shot on early, over the bar, and uh, that's their first proper chance, and it's still 0-0. Yu Sung Wu and Sane with a tackle, but it'll come back to the number 19. He plays it through towards Kiesling, and now Lars Bender through towards Kiesling. Tackle by Hoffman, but it'll fall straight to Bender, who goes for goal, and fires the back of the net, fires the back of the net, fires it into the back of the net, and makes it by Leverkusen 1, Hamburg 0. The tackle was made. And I felt we were going to get the ball clear, but instead it found straight. It fell straight to Lars Bender. It was right there. I think it was Hoffman who sort of temporarily poked it away, but it fell to Lars Bender with the left foot. He rifles the ball in, and Cesar Valente has absolutely no chance. What a strike that is! And Bayer Leverkusen take the lead in the first half. Lars Bender with a goal, and it is one nil to the home side. Oh, what a ball. What a ball that is towards Tonali down the right-hand side. That was amazing. He's got Jonathan Tarr to beat, and he has beaten him. He's got inside the area, and the shot comes in. It's 2-0 to Bayer, but the offside flag is going to be raised against Metmany. There it is on the near side. The linesman has his flag up, and the goal's not going to count. That was an unbelievable ball towards Tonali down the right-hand side. He played it through towards Metmany. A great little pass inside, but as you can see, he's way offside. And in the end, the linesman calls it right. So still by a one Hamburg nil. That's not going to be cleared fully there. As Brown picks up the loose ball, finds Yannick Gerhardt on the edge of the area, goes for goal. Good save by Yeldell and turns by for a corner. So we've had our chances in the first half. That man just there you saw on the uh, on the screen has had the best one. But we are still trading by this goal to nil. And with by a dominating possession, it's going to be very, very hard for us in the second half to create too many chances to get back on level terms. They still lead by a goal to nil, and we've got to do something. Otherwise, by will become the second league team to beat us this season as Correa receives the ball and plays through towards Holtby down the left hand side trying to get around his man plays through towards Correa nice little first touch beats his man still Correa with the facial gets inside and Gil Correa goes for goal and finds the back of the net and he missed a great chance earlier on in this game but he scored now to make amends and make it by a one Hamburg one and Gil Correa skipped round his man then took it inside with the fake shot and with his right foot put the ball past Yeldell and just before the break puts us back on level terms so he missed a great chance which was a far easier one in the first 10 minutes when we cut the ball to him. He somehow missed a target, but that strike does, and it finds the back of the net. What a great finish, and Angel Correa has already matched Dermic's tally of eight goals in the Bundesliga last season and puts us back on level terms. Well done, Correa. 1-1. Is Metmedy for Bayer Leverkusen through towards Hilbert and Werner is there. And I tried to release the ball there. I couldn't do so in time. And now Kramer picks the ball up here down the right side for Bayer Leverkusen and tries to whip it across. And a volley by Hilbert. Great save by Valente. But the rebound is turned in by Ryu Sung Woo. And Bayer Leverkusen are back in front six minutes after the restart. The cross came in from Christoph Kramer down the right hand side. The volley was brilliantly saved by Valente. But he could only parry it towards the number 19. Dietmeier couldn't get there in time. And look at how casual Dietmeier was there. I hammered down the circle button a couple of times but he just seemed to jockey towards the ball can't blame him for it though it's Ryu Sung Woo with a goal and Bayer Leverkusen are back in front six minutes after the restart oh chance for Bayer Leverkusen on the break here to make it 3-1 Metmedy through towards Javier Hernandez and he's got the pace and the Mexicans bearing down on goal out comes Valente who did really well but it's going to come straight to Metmedy who fires the ball way over the bar and behind for a goal kick so well done Cesar being alert coming out of his goal to deny the little P and keeping us still in this game. Do people still call him the little P? They used to. Is Ostanali down the right-hand side by Leverkusen. Tar comes across. Ostanali beats him, though. And Tar's way out of position here as Kramer gets onto the ball. We've got a gap in the middle, and G. Carito is surely going to make it 2-1. And Cesar Valente has just pulled off an unbelievable save. And the only reason we are still in this game is for a fantastic save by Valente. How on earth did he stop that? I was literally just about to say casually, by Leverkusen are going to go on to win the game. And Valente just made an unbelievable save. And there it is, final score at the Bayer Arena. Bayer Leverkusen 2, Hamburg 1. And we've been beaten for just the second time in the league this year. It is Bayer Leverkusen to get the win. It's also our second defeat in our last 
four games, I think it is, or maybe five games after the defeat to Hertha Berlin in the Deutsche Parkau. It was a frustrating game because we had some chances in this one, but I'm not going to try and deny it. The home side did play better. I feel they deserved a win over the course of the 90 minutes, despite some late heroics by Cesar Valente, and we are beaten by two goals to one. So we can look at the match stats to end this off then. By Leverkusen had 15 shots in the entire game, eight of which found the target. They also had a lot more possession as well. And again, we didn't play too badly when going forward. Seven shots in total, three of which found the target, but by Leverkusen thoroughly deserved the win. And if it wasn't from, uh, from some heroics from Valente, we would have lost this game by quite a few goals. But man, the match will go to, not too sure, Ryu Sung Woo caused me quite a few problems. I think I'll give it to him. Played very well. I'll give it to this guy, and he is man of the match. We lose, unfortunately, and if Bayern Munich won, which I expect they did, we will now be four points behind them. So that's a bit of a shame. We could have kept the pace, but now we've surrendered a four-point lead for Bayern. And that is going to be today's episode of the Bundesliga career mode as well, guys. So I want to say a massive thank you for watching the video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have enjoyed today's double upload day, then please do consider leaving a like. So of course, much appreciated. It really helps help the channel grow as well. Now to leave a like if you don't want to do it, it's totally fine. Much love to you all, and I'll see you for the next episode of the Bundesliga career mode very soon.